welcome to our tiny home. We are a family of four living in a tumbleweed tiny house. It is pretty big by all standards of tiny houses. It's 30 feet long, 8 feet wide. Coming in the door here you see our living room. And as we turn to the left there's the kitchen table. Moving on into the kitchen, quite spacious in its design, pretty much as big as any apartment. Here's our stove here, just a toaster oven, but it works extremely well. I bake chickens in there and can bake pies in there. And then we have this sink here, where on the left side I just have all the dishes drying. And the right side's for washing. And then here's where we keep our our dishes. And you can see the view of the living room. Going back through that archway is a closet in the bathroom. I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got a built-in bookshelf and then we bought one of these uh, Dickinson fireplaces which works pretty well but if I had to do it again I don't think I would buy this particular stove. Um, I found in order to keep this house warm in the winter months you pretty much have to run it 24-7 and it costs 100 plus dollars a month which seems a lot to heat a tiny little house so most of the time I find I end up using um, this electric heater down here, one of the radiators, and it works really well and does not cost that much money. Um, we use an induction, an electric induction cooktop stove, and we're a family that loves to cook, and we've managed to get by on just one burner. Um, just adjusted our cooking style a little bit, and sometimes it's a pain, but for the most part, works pretty well. We've got a full-size fridge here. Fits in totally fine. This is where Michael has his closet on this side. And the stairs here lead up to one of the lofts. Okay, so... Going back into my closet. This is one of uh, the coolest inventions, space saving inventions that our friends made up. So here's my closet. Looks pretty spacious. You can see it's pretty nice and got oh oh got a wide open feel. Okay, buddy. Um, so, check this out. This closet here is on wheels. So I pull it back. I don't know if you can see this. And I open it up. And voila! Now we're in the bathroom. Moving the door like that gives the bathroom quite a spacious feel. We've actually managed to fit a full-size tub. Shower. We've got our composting toilet there. Oh, I've got crooked, but okay. There's our composting toilet, our sawdust. We use the composting method where you just fill up the five gallon bucket, take it out to your compost pile. Pretty much a pain in the ass, but it works well. And in a couple years, we'll have some lovely soil. And there's our little lofts up there. We had, um, Cheryl Stanford um, that I found on Etsy make us these really pretty stained glass windows that we have on both sides. Just super awesome to build these little windows in. So then you have privacy, a little sound barrier, but then you're still connected with the rest of the house. You can talk to people down in the living room. I forgot to tell you about another cool feature of our house. So I wanted our house to feel pretty rustic, kind of like a cabin, 
esque sort of feel. Um, but my hubby thought it would be pretty cool to have a TV. So I said, no way. So he, he thought up of this plan, and you can't even really see it from here. But check this out. I've turned, I've turned over and I actually appreciate this, but check this out. So, we've got a full-on movie screen here. You just pull it down. Ah, oh, 72-inch movie screen hooked up to our computer. And then over here, we have the projector, the speakers, we've got surround sound, and then under the couch there's the whole um, AV system with the computer and the receiver and DVD player and all of that fancy stuff. So, pretty snazzy. You can invite people over. We can actually see uh, maybe four or five people watch a movie. And then, voila, it disappears. Back to my sort of what I call Rustic Nouveau. There's our books. There's where we make the boy keep all his toys down there. And then in the little chairs we built, we have some extra storage in there. There's a little baby seat. We had to lose a chair so he could have a little place to sit. And then we've got seating on the other side of the table here. And then, of course, the couch. Oh, there I am. I've got a baby on my back. See? There he is, this little August. He was born right outside in front in the garden. Pretty much the first hours of his life were spent, first few days of his life were spent on that couch there. And now we sleep up in the loft together. God forbid the day he learns to roll over, but we'll probably be moved out by then. The house is a little bit too small for us now as a family. For a family of three, perfect. Couple, two people, even better. But now with the fourth edition, we're thinking it's time to go. It's been fun. It's definitely not for everyone, but I've enjoyed our stay.